Hey everyone, I have been meaning to do this video for quite a while and I'm almost out of one of the products so I need to make this video because I won't be repurchasing it. Um, before I went cruelty free, my favorite under eye concealer or corrector was the Bobbi Brown under eye corrector and I had never used an under eye concealer or product like this before because I was like, well I don't really have dark circles and I didn't really think that I needed it and I was really loving Bobbi Brown products so while I was at the, the store one day, um, one of the beauty experts there put this on and I could not believe the difference between the before and after and I quickly fell in love with this and it is a great product. I am very sad that Bobbi Brown is not a cruelty free company because this is a product that I would purchase, repurchase over and over again. And it's, it's literally, when I say it's almost gone, it's almost gone. And the color is Light Bisque, and I'm wearing it under this eye. So I was looking for a cruelty-free replacement for this product because I did really love it so much. And this is the corrector in Brightening Peach from Pixie. And it is, like, when I looked at it, it's pretty much the same color as, and you really probably won't be able to tell, um, but they are... They are very similar. I'm wearing it under this eye. And I can't tell the difference. Like the only difference that I can tell between the two is this one does have a little bit more of a brightening effect for the under eye area where this one is more of just like a, um, it just, it just covers. But as far as how much they cover, they cover very, very similar to each other. The only thing that I really noticed and that I missed is that the Bobbi Brown is a more creamy consistency so when I go to put it on like it goes on very very easily and I don't have to really work to blend it in whereas the Pixi it, it is a little bit harder so you, I, I don't want to pull on my under eye area but I am spending more time tapping. Something that I found that helped with this one is I will um, dab it on and I do use my finger most of the time I do have a brush that I will use on occasion but most of the time I'll use my finger and I'll dab it on and then I let it sit because once my natural body heat starts to warm it up a little bit it becomes creamier um, still not as creamy as the Bobbi Brown but better you know than just like going ahead and applying it on and then I will just spend some time tapping it or I'll even place my finger on top of it to help warm it up but as far as like what they do, they do the same thing. I don't know if you can tell the difference between the left side and the right side, but they both work. They do a great job. The Bobbi Brown one is $24 and the Pixie one is $12 at Target. And every once in a while, there'll be a coupon for Pixie products. So you could probably get it for even cheaper. Um, but it is a great cruelty free option. It is not a great natural option. So my next step um, is to find a natural product that does the same thing. So if you have any suggestions for a natural like under eye corrector, please leave them in the comments below. But I did want to um, just talk about this and give an option if you are wanting to go cruelty free but not necessarily go natural because I am very passionate about the cruelty free products. So I do want to um, just show you guys what I had been using and then let you know what I thought between the two. I have nothing against the Bobbi Brown product. Like I said, my only issue and the biggest issue is that it is not cruelty free. So um, I will continue to use my Pixie product and then hopefully find a holy grail natural product sometime in the future. So that is it for this comparison video. Let me know if this was helpful to you at all and if you'd like to see any more of these. Um, since I am going more natural, I'm starting to have like natural replacements, but I still have some products that are cruelty-free replacements to old Holy Grail products. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, just let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Going to start with the Bobbi Brown under eye concealer. And most of the time I use my finger. I just like that the best. I feel like that gives it the best... Um, like blendable coverage, it kind of helps it to melt into my skin, but occasionally I will use a brush.
most of the time, I put the under eye concealer um, on before my eye makeup, but if you like to put it on afterwards and you feel like there's some color under your eye, you can use a brush to kind of get up right underneath there. Now I'll use the Pixi color. And this one is a little bit thicker. We look out and see the world. It takes everything we have to face it. Without a sound, we take a step. Inside our hearts are racing If it takes forever 